why Slint? Slint, a small company many people probably don't know. I was looking for uh, alternatives to Qt because I have a lot of customers who are a bit annoyed by Qt, especially by the licensing model. Many smaller or medium companies just say, that's far too much. I can't afford to pay, what, 50 or 100,000 euros just now in advance for the next three or five years. That's out of the question. They are looking around, but don't find anything. And Slint is a UI framework, just focused on UI. So a direct competitor to Qt. And they showed a Slint UI running on a Raspberry Pi Pico a microcontroller, and it used only, what, something like 200 kilobytes. So note, kilobytes, that's something most people, most developers don't even know anymore. So it's normally gigabytes. So yeah. you're normally talking with Qt on microcontrollers, you're talking about six to eight megabytes of RAM and flash memory you need. And they make it possible to do it in kilobytes, 200 kilobytes, which is an amazing feat. I was working on a 16-bit microcontroller some years back, and we built a, an internet radio on top of that. So and you always had to think, okay, do I have a little bit more money available? Or no, I have to release that and, and to get some more. Okay, back to Slint. And so what they showed, what they built within two and a half years is amazing. Obviously, you can use it on microcontrollers, but you can also use it on any bigger processor. That's not the problem. And now comes the kicker. Their pricing model is fantastic, and it's exactly for the small and medium businesses, and probably also for others, but they come later. So you have three licenses there. And the first one is, well, you can use it under GPL and it's fine. That's nothing for businesses. The second one is a so-called ambassador license. So you can use it for free. You don't get any support. That's my understanding. And you just have to say, we are using Slint and you can use it for free. Fantastic. And even the commercial option is very well suited for smaller, medium companies. You have either the option to buy something for one product, and then it doesn't matter how many developers are on that product. You pay for something like 5,000 euros per year, and that's for one product. Or you say, okay, I want to build multiple products, then you pay per developer. And the first developer is again something like 5,000, and from the second onwards is something like 750 euros. And there is a little bit of royalties there, but it's three euro fifty and then going down. So you can do the math and it's a lot less than cute. This is actually what I would have wished or what I wished for a long time from the cute company to come up with a license targeted to small and medium businesses, just some fixed price in the end. And there you go. You get some support, but that's it. And then for the bigger customers, you can do something more customized. Fine, but you don't see it. So that's why Slint is a new entry and they are a newcomer. And they are backed, I think, by investors. And yeah, it's looking good. And I really want to try it out. So... I hope I'll have some time now soon. I'll probably take one of my harvester HMIs and try to implement some parts of it in Slint. So that's the plan. Mm -hmm.